So today, I'm bringing the heat. So self-admittedly, I tried to shoot this outside, but it's so windy today that it's not even worth it. The audio is just completely shit. So do it inside amongst all the plants that are actually gonna go outside. So why am I setting up a greenhouse? Well, I'm cheap. I don't wanna spend a whole bunch of money on lights and shelving. I can put a lot of the stuff outside in a plastic greenhouse. Plus, it allows me to harden off a lot of my plants that are going into the garden in a couple weeks. So it's a two for one deal. So I'm gonna start with the unboxing because that's where all the fun comes from, right? So as you see, I'm pulling stuff out. I have some poles, I have some connectors, I have a plastic sheeting. It all seems kind of bizarre because when I opened the box, I was thinking I'm gonna instructions like on an Ikea, I don't get that. And I get this, I get this weird photocopy diagram that has where the connectors go, but it doesn't because it's fuzzy and it's cut out. It's a mess. So anyways, off the bat, I do my best to first set up the first shelf. And after, after a couple minutes, you can see I figured it out and I got a roll. So I went ahead and set up the next shelf that went along with that. And then as a coincidence, I went and set up the next shelf that was stacked on top of that shelf. Which all in all, that went together really fast. But as a result, I also got cocky. And I'm like, oh, let's put the connectors here and it'll be, this will go here and this is how the roof will go on. And I completely messed it up and I had to start all over again on the second shelf to get all the right connectors. So even though the instructions are bad, I messed up and I'll own up to that. All in all, so once I got all the right connectors set up on the second shelf, you can see here, now the actual roof part of the greenhouse is going up. And for the most part, this greenhouse was actually really easy to set up and really easy to put together. If you're like me, you pick up one of these poles and you're like, mm, 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 mm. It's like sword fighting with like imaginary person, then you're probably a kid at heart, just like me. If you are, go ahead and subscribe to get more off the cuff, weird shit, just like that. Next up, the plastic. Now, I saw online when I bought this greenhouse that I also had the option of buying replacement plastic, which raises some red flags. And after looking at this plastic, it's kind of cheap and it's kind of thin. So I don't doubt that there's replacement plastic for this greenhouse. And if anything, I wouldn't even waste my money on it. In reality, I'd probably just go ahead and buy regular six mil greenhouse plastic from a garden store or online. But this plastic should get me through this season. So from there, as easy as slipping the plastic over top and fitting nicely on top of the greenhouse. Now, as far as the greenhouse build went, it was actually really fast. It probably only took about a half hour to put everything together, even with all the mistakes I made. You might be thinking, Ian, yes, we're done. That's it, it's over. But you know what? Actually, there's a couple more things I gotta do because the thing about these greenhouses is, from what I've heard in reviews, that when it gets windy, they turn into a big fucking kite and blow away. So to prevent my plants from all falling over and getting destroyed, I have a couple more steps. I'll show you. So to prevent this greenhouse from taking off in the wind and turning into a giant weather balloon that floats across North America that has everybody freaking out, I'm just going to go ahead and strap it down with two ratchet straps, one at the base and one around the middle. Now you may be thinking like, yeah, Ian, it's going to be hard to get through the door and it is. It's a huge pain in the butt, but you know what's more of a pain in the butt? Having to go pick up trays of plants that are scattered all across the deck and across the lawn. Not worth it. But better off strapping it down the middle and at the base. So you, there you go, a cheap, easy greenhouse setup that holds over a thousand plants. If you like this video, please go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. I'll see you on the next one.